All right, we're going to demonstrate how to set up Sky Atom in a Goldhorn DSP. This is something that I did not see in the instructions in Goldhorn's website, and it left me confused until I accidentally figured it out. So we're at the I.O. screen, and I've got my whole complement of speakers all set up, and I'm using an optical in, and you can see here optical left, right, left, right, so on and so forth. And for the center channels, it's you know right and left together. So optical's playing right now. You can see the little bars here indicating that it's doing something about it. And I want to turn on Sky Atom, which is a surround uh, sound system. So when you look at this, you can see here, okay, it's optical and it's picking it up. And what you have to do is drag what you need to each of these, like so. So there's surround left, surround right, and so on and so forth. So we're just going to knock these out real quick. And center channels and subwoofers get left and right shared, typically. There we go. Now, when adding in two, you can see that it automatically drops the you know six decibels down. We're not going to need that for the subwoofers. But the center channel can stay that way. Now, this is all good. And fine, and you can set up Sky Atom how you want. The problem is that the instructions stop there, and you can see on the right side it's showing, hey, here's Sky Atom and it's playing. That's great. The problem is they've never described how to actually get the Sky Atom inputs and then their outputs back to your system. So, to reiterate, I have Optical in here, and it will play music, it will play sound but it will not play through Sky Atom surround sound, which is you know quite good when it works. Um, so here's how to actually deal with it. You continue the dragging concept. So this is what I actually figured out by accident, and it seems so obvious now. Once you set up all of these and then get rid of the optical or whatever you're using in, then each of these will actually be playing through the Sky Atom processor. So you'll just repeat your process through here, get rid of whatever inputs you were using here, and have instead these throughout here. It's simple, but nobody explains it. So if you haven't done it yet, if you own a gold horn, but you haven't done this yet, and you want to use you know, the surround capabilities that you're paying for, make sure you, you know, accomplish this task. And um, yeah, maybe just let me know in the comments if it suddenly sounds better to you or not. I've noticed that when I turn Sky Atom on, my system is, you know, rocking. It's exactly what I want. So hopefully that helps a lot. Appreciate it.